Howdy champs! My name is Mohitan. People, today I'm going to show you how we can add and remove some content only through jQuery. Alright, uh, guys, first let's have a look at my um, local site folder or the root folder. Um, this is jQuery 1.9.1 minified version. Uh, this you can grab from jQuery.com. Obviously, for the uh, JavaScript 2 function, we need uh, this as the backbone, as the spine. Uh, it's, it's a must. So you just need to download it from jQuery.com and we'll be using it uh, a little later. Okay, this is yet another uh, JavaScript file. Uh, this is the HTML document and uh, here we have yet another JavaScript file. In fact, we don't need this file at all. Let me just push it inside the images folder and this images folder is not going to be used in this uh, tutorial or this example at all. Um, we'll be using just three these three files. Okay, first uh, upfront. First, let me just open up this HTML document and show you a published preview in Google Chrome. Okay, just coming up. All right, so people, we have a dev out here uh, and an H1 element inside. Now, I'm going to mouse inside the dev. Notice the moment I do that, uh, above the uh, H1 tags, it pushes in three star signs or asterisk signs and uh, the, you know just under it or below it uh, we get three uh, or rather four uh, hash signs right and the moment I uh, mouse out the same thing happens again so see as I enter and as I leave the div uh, some content is getting pushed but at different locations all right so how did this actually happen? Uh, we'll, s uh, we'll look into that. All right. Let's first uh, check out the HTML document. The file I've called it uh, test.html. Let me give it a title, a relevant title. So adding and removing content through jQuery. Okay. Let's uh, save all. Cool. Now, uh, yes, let's examine our HTML document. Uh, this is the uh, HTML5 uh, doc type, the opening HTML tag, which means we should have a closing tag out here as well. We have the opening head tag out here. Uh, okay, the meta care set here, the title goes here, the opening style tag, the closing style tag out here. Basically, I'm using an internal style. Uh, I've defined an ID rule titles uh, which says that the background color should be lavender the height and which should be 400 each and this ID I've attached to a division or a div that that's inside the uh, body of the document the HTML5 uh, document. We have a div out here with the ID titles so that'll ensure that the background color should be lavender the height and which should be 400 pixels each. Alrighty, and uh, inside the div we have an h1 element which says heading 1. So we have the closing div tag out here and the corresponding opening div tag with the id attribute out here and that's all that is there uh, to this uh, simple HTML document. Alright, uh, yes we also have the script tag which links to the uh, external Java JavaScript file okay which is actually as I said earlier is the backbone and yet another external uh, JavaScript file which I've called test file it could have uh, had any other name too that's entirely up to you I've given my uh, HTML document the name test and the JavaScript file the same name as well but again uh, this is your choice you you could have chosen a different name too since uh, as I was testing for this uh, tutorial I just gave it the name test anyways so basically this uh, HTML5 document test is linked to the jQuery 1.9.1 minified version that I grabbed from jQuery.com is also linked to uh, this test JS file through the script tags like this so you have the opening script tag 
the closing script tag, the type attribute set to text JavaScript uh, SRC pointing to 1.9.1 minified and uh, text JavaScript and SRC pointing to test.js file, the external JavaScript file. Okay. So uh, this is the jQuery minified file and this is the test dot js file which is actually firing off that function in fact i don't need three uh, four hashes out here just this needs to be just three let me just save it up and let's actually discuss this uh, js uh, document in fact uh, just three four lines of code nothing much out here uh, so basically when the document is ready i would uh, want to fire a function an anonymous function that references the div with the uh, ID titles so the only div that I have in the HTML document is this div that has an ID titles that has the h1 element inside uh, I'm targeting that and on a hover so basically on a mouse uh, enter and on a mouse leave the the um, event handler hover fires both on a mouse enter and on a mouse leave I would want another function to fire what that does is this refers to the only division that we have inside the body of the HTML document prepend uh, something and append something now what is prepend and append uh, people if you remember the tutorial itself is all about adding and removing content through jQuery. The word prepend means uh, add uh, to the head and append means add to the tail but inside within the div. When you use the append or the prepend uh, methods uh, you're actually adding within and not outside the div. The div. Alright, and what exactly are we adding? I'm using the big tag. Uh, I can do without the tags too. Okay, but that's just letting you know that you can use HTML tags out here. And I'm adding three asterisks, symbols, signs uh, inside the div, but uh, you know, at the tip, uh, uh, the very tip, and append is going to push it at the very toe or the very tail so head and tail but within that's exactly what is happening out here so let me take up a preview once again to show you all right there right so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to change the uh, prepend method to before method and i'm going to replace the append method with the after method. Now what's going to happen? Uh, let's see. In fact, uh, if we see a preview, we'll be able to answer ourselves itself. So let's save the changes. Let's take up a preview in Google Chrome. So see as I hover over, uh, this time the content is being added, but it's added outside the division. So that's uh, one of the major differences. Uh, uh, between uh, append, prepend, and before and after. So uh, this here refers to the division with the ID titles and with the before and after methods. The content, which is asterisk signs and uh, hash signs, are being pushed outside the division uh, at the head and the tail, vis a vis, the uh, prepend and the append methods do just that but they push the content inside the div all right uh, let's see which other methods we have that I can show you today okay let's get rid of this completely all right and where we have the uh, word before I'm gonna replace it with the uh, HTML uh, method and uh, now what's going to happen? In fact, let's take up a preview and uh, we'll discuss then. Okay, notice the moment I uh, take my mouse over. Now, through the HTML method, I'm able to replace the content. So the heading one has been replaced with the, the big tag, which in turn contains the asterisk signs so that is what 
the HTML tag does but through the HTML tag uh, you are allowed to format uh, you're allowed to use HTML tags like this uh, there's another way we can add content and that's through the text method but then we are not allowed to use uh, tags like so but we can then push in uh, some text so we're gonna get rid of this as well as this because this is the uh, text method not the HTML method which will allow us to add content but without the tags so this is gonna work equally well alright so as you saw the content got replaced through the text method too alright uh, let's discuss now the remove method or empty method first okay so that's empty parenthesis parenthesis right let's save it up and let's preview it up in Google Chrome now the moment I uh, hover inside the division you see it removes everything inside the div and that's the empty method so basically it's gonna uh, suck everything inside the uh, the division so it's gonna empty the division okay and uh, in the end I'm gonna discuss the uh, remove method it does exactly what it says it just removes the div completely swipe you know it just wipes it uh, wipes it uh, off uh, the web page completely so let's see that in action too there goes it's completely uh, demolished destroyed the division once you hover all right people so uh, I hope uh, through this tutorial I have actually conveyed a lot of uh, jQuery uh, stuff and I hope you enjoyed it and also hope that will keep coming back for more you have a good day bye bye peace